Alio Lighting introduces Alio Blue wireless lighting controls. This is a device setup tutorial. First, log on to the Alio Blue application website on your desktop at alioblue.com. Click sign up and enter your information to make an account. Once inside the Alio Blue dashboard, you'll create a new project. To create a new project, click the plus sign in the bottom right corner of the screen. Name your project and latitude and longitude are optional. Once the project is created, click the three dots in the top right corner of the tile and add a collaborator. Enter the collaborator's email and then assign them an authorization level. The options are end user, installer, and manager. Once you're done, go back to your projects and click on the tile. To add a new area, click the plus sign in the bottom right corner of the screen. Name your area and select an image. An area is the site or floor of the project. Once the image is selected, click the area tile and start adding zones. A zone is an area where devices are grouped and controlled together and act according to a defined control scenario. Zones can be easily added by clicking anywhere on the image. Name your zone and assign a profile. There are various profiles to choose from. And in this example, we're going to choose Open Office. Click the pencil button to edit the profile. Each profile comes with default settings that can be customized to your needs. Within each profile, there are various predefined control scenarios. Beneath that, there are general settings that can be changed. For this zone, we'll be selecting the control scenario as manual which means the devices will be controlled manually via a dimmer switch. The dimmer switch can be added at a later stage. We will also adjust the high-end trim of the zone, which can be done for other scenarios as well. We will be setting the high-end trim to 60%, meaning at full light output, the fixtures will only be able to reach 60% of their full output. Occupied is the light level when the zone is occupied. The timeout is the amount of time delay before the lights adjust to a lower level, known as the prolong stage, when no occupancy is detected. You can also adjust the lights to dim down or fade over a period of time with the fade time. We're going to adjust the occupied light level to 100%, with a time delay of 15 minutes and a fade down time of 5 seconds. Prolonged is the secondary light level. Once occupancy is not detected, we will be setting that time delay to 10 minutes and a fade time to 10 seconds at a 50% light level. Once motion is not detected for 10 minutes, the light will dim to the vacant level. Vacant is the light behavior when the zone is vacant. We will be setting the light level to 0% after five minutes. Once no motion is detected for that time, the lights will turn off. With these settings, when occupied, the zone will be at 100% light level. After 15 minutes of no occupancy, the lights will dim down to 50%, with a 5 second fade down. After 10 minutes of no motion during the prolonged stage, the lights will dim down to off until motion is detected again. Manual override timeout is the amount of time it takes for the zone to return to the defined control scenario after the zone has been manually overridden, such as with a dimmer switch. You can adjust high end trim here if needed. For this zone, we will leave the high end trim at 100%. Once you're done, click save. We're going to add one more zone to this area. For zone three, we're going to adjust the scenario to occupancy sensing with daylight harvesting. We'll show you an example of how to calibrate the daylight sensor later in the video. Now that we're done creating our zones, we're going to leave the desktop browser and jump onto the mobile application. Once the application has been downloaded to your device, select the Alio Blue app icon. Once inside, 
you'll see your project. Click the project, click your area, and then select the desired zone. Once the zone is selected, you'll see available devices that can be added to your zone. Utilizing the near and all slider at the bottom of the application will show you fixtures that can be added to your zone based on the proximity to your Bluetooth device. Sliding it towards near will show less fixtures. All will show more with a wider radius. Clicking the light bulb icon will allow you to identify a fixture ensuring that the correct fixture is going to be added to your zone. Once the desired fixture has been selected, click the sensor name. You'll see here that we're adding multiple devices as each one flashes on and off to acknowledge that it's being added. Now that all of your fixtures have been added to your zone, go to test. In test, you can turn the fixtures off, on, adjust the light level of all luminaires, and adjust the light level of only one luminaire if desired. Next, we're going to show an example of the daylight harvesting profile. For this, you'll have to have all the lights off, an open window, and a light meter. Make sure your light meter is set to Lux. After that, use the light meter to capture how many Lux are being collected from the ambient daylight that is hitting the working plane. Once that's placed, open up your zone with the daylight harvesting profile, go to your settings, and click calibrate. Here you will enter the lux value reading from your light meter. This will allow your zone to calibrate daylight harvesting correctly. Then, the alio blue fixtures will calibrate on their own, one by one. And they're done. Alio Blue is available for multiple Alio Lighting series fixtures. If you have additional questions, reach out to your Alio Lighting representative.